first sign of spiritual health is in the book of Mark chapter 16 verse 17. First sign of spiritual health. If I notice you are following me, then I will continue from where I stopped uh, yesterday. So this is a welcome address. Matthew chapter 16, verse 17. Sorry, Mark. 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 It seems you are high in the spirit today. <laughs> you are alive unto unto. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. My emphasis for bringing that scripture, for making reference to that scripture, is the word new in that presentation. They shall speak in new tongues. If you read it from the Greek, the word translated new is kyanos. Kyanos tongues. And this kyanos means, it means more of fresh than new. How I wish some of you know Africa. Let me describe something. You may not know it, but I will just explain. In my village, when people want to get drunk, there is a wine they drink. They call it palm wine. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> now, this palm wine, you tap it from a tree called palm tree. And since I've been embarking on my pilgrimages in Europe, I've not stumbled on one palm tree yet. So, <laughs> palm tree. When you tap fresh palm wine, it is as sweet as sugar. But it is highly intoxicating, but you will not know because it is sweet. Fresh palm wine is known from its intoxicating capacity and the deception that seduces you when you are engaged with fresh palm wine is a strange sweetness. Are you there? If it is true that you are in spiritual health, your life will produce sweetness, which is a testament to the freshness of the dealings of God with your spirit. Your life will produce a certain sweetness, and that sweetness will draw people and suck people into the presence of God, and they will not know that they are getting intoxicated. How many of you were here when the children were leading prayer? It, it, it was sweet. And that the sweetness has a compelling power that draws you and sucks you in. But the, the, you, you don't know the more intoxicated you become. So if your spirit can generate that sweetness, it means that your heart, your dealings with God are kyanos. They are fresh. Are you there? Yeah. That freshness gives you the privilege of being able to secure the present revelation position of the spirit. And what I mean by that jargon is that you will be able to, to know what God is saying now, what God is singing now, what God is doing now. It is in that now position of spiritual activity that the power of God re resides. That's your weapon against the enemy. What you picked yesterday will not have the authority to meet up with the challenges of today. You must be kyanos. You must be up to date in your intercourse with God to be able to produce such freshness that carries the authority of God. Kyanos. It's in that atmosphere of freshness that we can find the proceeding word of God, what God is saying now. And it's that which God is saying now that is a weapon of offense that God puts in your hand when you are in the midst of a spiritual war. So the proof, one of the indicators of the fact 
that you are in spiritual health is that you still have the touch of freshness. I remember a certain preacher in Africa, he was giving a story, telling us a story about what happened in 1986. He went to the mountain top to pray and he came back home by 5 a.m. And as he was trying to get into his house, he heard a cry. His neighbor had died. And in the strength of that freshness, he fell on the dead body and called on God. And the man came back to life. But unfortunately, that story was situated in 1986. Ever since, he lost that freshness. Oh, you're not with me. Many of you sitting in this place, you had a freshness before. There was a scent of freshness that you had on your inside. Even if you were broke and there was no pound in the bank, because of your connection with God, there was an assurance that you had. And that assurance was sufficient currency to take you through the dark days of your life and to pedestal you on a place of grace. But unfortunately, many of us lost the freshness. The only way the freshness can be retained is when we do the journeys of prayer. Because what prayer does is that it stirs up the operation of Christ so that his virtue, his abilities within your vessel, they are dissipated, they are, they are deployed. Are you there? The more you pray, the more alive you become in the spirit. There is a consciousness that is born on your inside that imparts the sense of assurance so that even when you don't know where deliverance will come, you are certain in your spirit by reason of the fact that the Holy Ghost bears witness with, you, with your spirit beyond the knowledge that your senses bring. That salvation is inside. So you can afford to sleep in the midst of the storm. It's a proof that there is sweetness. It's a proof that there is freshness. And uh, just like, you know, Sister Rebecca has the golden voice. I say she sings like a tape, like a tape. But I don't have a voice. But if I open my mouth, if I am able to secure the present revelation position in the spirit and the song of God, you will forget that the voice is not good you begin to, to pipe into the freshness. There is a commodity that God has given us to export to the nations. This merchandise is life. Oh my God. That's the only merchandise he has made available for us to export into the spirits of men. And the exporters of this commodity are the believers that have freshness in their spirit. Hallelujah. I was warned sometime that uh, there's a, sev a certain place that if you preach there, the people will just be looking at you like. They say, okay, don't look at the faces of the people. In fact, don't even ask for feedback. Are you, are you understanding? Because you'll be embarrassed. I said, oh, no problem. So I prayed in the Holy Ghost and generated the altar of freshness. And when I began to speak, it was so sweet that it was sweet to me. And the people that they said they don't respond, oh my God. I, many of them stood up without knowing that. It, it, it was not their way. They were under the influence of freshness. And I believe that the United Kingdom needs a moment of freshness. Yeah, yeah. There are many things that have died. We have, we have lineages of righteous men that have been hijacked by the devil and, and with a little freshness, with a little freshness, the ones that have strayed will find their way back to the house of God. So the first symptom of spiritual health is the ability to sustain freshness in the privacy of your heart. It's a product of intercourse with God.